Hi everyone, this is Blanca from Reflex Lab, and today I'm gonna show you how to use this auto bulk film loader. This is what you will receive if you buy this product. Um, this one is a film loader, which is the main body of the machine. This one is a magazine. This this is 400 feet. We also have another option of 1,000 feet. And you will also get the base for the film loader, a locking knob, a power adapter, and a piece of waste film. Before you start bulk loading, you should first put your film into the magazine. This magazine can fit a whole reel of 400 feet or a smaller one of 100 feet. Both are fine, but please make sure that you do that at a dark room or inside a changing bag. Now we have the film ready. It is supposed to go through this channel of the film loader all the way to here. But if you don't want to waste this much of your film, you can use this little piece of waste film and some tape. And turn the dial. Now we can attach the magazine to the film loader. And finally, we can lock lock these two these two parts together using this knob. So now the setup is finished. Uh, so we can start to power the machine. And remove the tape and the waste film. Now we are going to do some setting of this machine. First, press the set button and enter the password which is 0001 by default. It is only needed so we will not accidentally change the setting. So when, when we're done, press set again and it showed J1. For this machine, we only need to do the setting of J1, which is the number of exposure and press set again. If you want to have 36 exposure for every row of film, you should set 42 because the first six exposure is the film leader. And when you're done, press set again and next. Then set. Now we can start to load film into this empty canister. Use the tape to connect canister with the film and make sure the conjunction is nice and smooth. Now we can close the box and turn on the button. You can adjust the speed. You can even pause or continue. It doesn't always stop at, at the exact point of 42, but it doesn't matter. And it's done.
to continue, we just need to press on this button. Sometimes when a canister is loaded with film, you may find it difficult to pull the handle. In this case, you can dial a little bit forward to release the pressure from the magazine. And now you can try again. And before you open the cover, you should rotate it back. And now you can open it. This machine has no power button. If you want to turn it off, you can just unplug it. It will be fine. And next time when you connect it, it will keep the record from the last time. So that's all for today's demo video. I hope you find it useful. If you have any question or suggestion, you can contact us by email or Instagram. And I'll see you next time.